Hi, I want to show you today how easy it is to create a Hello World type of application for your Amazon Echo using the visual development tool Node-RED running on top of IBM Bluemix. So let me take a minute to show you how this is going to work. What we're going to do is I'm going to first talk to my Echo to make this work and I'm going to tell it, I'm going to invoke my skill which is going to be called Jason's Bluemix and I'm going to tell that skill to say hello. Now what the Amazon Echo service does is it does the speech recognition part of it using something called an intent schema and utterances. So let me show those to you. Uh, we're going to use the example ones that come from the Hello World sample application. And we're going to have an intent schema here that says basically a Hello World intent. That's all we're going to have it do is, is ask someone to say hello. And then there's also a help intent that is used uh, you know, sort of by default uh, in case someone asks for help with your skill. And then the utterances file defines what are the things that the person can say that will invoke that hello world intent. So we've got a few sample ones here. Again, this just comes from the sample downloads that you can get uh, off of Amazon. So once that speech recognition is done, the Amazon Echo service will then call our Node-RED service uh, with an HTTPS request. And we're going to look for a couple things. First of all, we're going to look that it's an intent request type. And then we're going to look for the intent name of hello world intent. And that will tell our code that the person asked us to say hello. We're going to respond with a response that uh, says we want to do some speech output in plain text with the text of hello world. And that will go back to our echo who will then reply hello world. Simple flow like that, right? So let's go ahead and build it. First thing we're going to do is create our node red service in Bluemix. So if I flip over to the Bluemix catalog, if you're not registered already, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial. Really simple. We're going to go into the catalog and pick the Node Red Starter Kit. And we're going to uh, give this a name and we're going to just call this uh, Echo Test 90. And we're going to go ahead and create it. And what this is going to do is within the Bluemix service, this is going to create a Node.js runtime environment, which is what Node Red runs on top of. It's going to install uh, the Node Red application on top of it. It's going to start it all up. Give us a host name of uh, echotest90.mybluemix.net and get everything going. Uh, this will take just a minute, so we're going to fast forward here. Okay, our application is up and running now, so all we have to do is click on the link to pull up the Node-RED editor. We can go into the Node-RED flow editor, and now you'll see your palette where we're going to draw our application. The first thing we need is an HTTP input node, because remember it's an HTTP request that will be made from the Amazon Echo service. So we'll drag that out here. We're going to make this a post method and we're going to give it a path on the URL. Let's go ahead and call that hello world and this will be incoming echo requests. Now the first thing we do after we get that request is we have to sort of sort it, if you will, into the various uh, um, request types that can come in. So if we take a look over at the uh, interface reference guide, you can see Within the request body, there are three types of requests that can come in. A launch request, which is a request without any sort of intent or speech that matched, an intent request, and then a session-ended request. So we need to sort now on uh, all three of those. And you'll see that they come in as a request.type value. So to do that, we're going to pull out a switch, and we're going to call this sort by request type. And we're going to look at the payload.request.type field. So we had launch request. We'll add another one for intent request. And then session ended request. Those are the three types. And maybe just to be safe, we'll go ahead and put in an otherwise. That will cover all of our cases. So these map to the four outputs that you'll now see on the switch um, that we put in here. So we'll connect this up. And now we know that the second request is the intent request, which is the one that we want. So now um, there are a multiple intents. If you remember from our um, intent schema, there's a hello world intent and there's a help intent. So we need to sort on those as well. Another switch will do the trick. And we're going to do sort by intent. And this is now in the payload.request.intent.name. If you want to double check that, you can look here at the intent request in the documentation, and you'll see an intent.name that has the name of the intent. 
So we're going to look for hello world intent, and then we'll add one for the help intent. Okay, we said we're going to connect this up to the second output, which was the intent request. And now the first output will be uh, the hello world intent. Now what do we want to do when somebody uh, asks us to say hello? We want to respond with hello world. So we're going to put a template out here and let's call it say hello. And in here we'll just put in hello world. This is going to be the bulk of our response. And we're going to hook that again up to this first output of the intent. Now we need to format this in the format, uh, in the JSON format that uh, the echo service uh, expects. So let's say format response. And I'm going to cut and paste a little snippet of what that response looks like. And it looks like this. It has a version field, a response, output speech, type plain text. And then for the text, here we're going to use this syntax, which will take the output of the last node, the say hello, and put it right in this text field here. And then we've got should end session, which is true, which means it'll end the session after this. All right, so we've got that. Go ahead and hook that up. Uh, now the output that has to go out it needs to be in a JSON format. So this little node will convert it to JSON. Uh, and then the last thing we do anytime we have an uh, HTTP input is we need an HTTP response. So we'll connect that up as well. And that pretty much means we're ready to go. Now, anytime you use node red, I always like to use the debug node. It really comes in handy to show you what's going on. So we're going to put a couple debug nodes in here. The first one, we're going to connect to the input incoming message that comes in. And then the second one, we're going to connect to uh, the response message right before we send it out. Okay, we can go ahead and deploy that and put it in a debug mode. At this point, we have our server-side code ready to go. What we need to do now is go into the Amazon uh, developer user interface and register our new skill. So I'm logged into the Amazon developer console, and I'm going to go into the Am Alexa skills kit, and I'm going to uh, choose to add a new skill. And we're going to call this uh, Bluemix Hello World. And the invocation name that we're going to give it, let's call it Jason's Blue Mix. This is the name that has to be used when somebody uh, uses the echo and wants to talk to you. Now the endpoint is going to be HTTPS, and we're going to take the same URL of our uh, node red service. We're going to put it in here, make it HTTPS, and then we're going to put that hello world on there that was on our HTTP input node. All right, the next step is to put in our intent schema and our sample utterances. So let's pull up our intent schema again from the samples that they provide. And we just missed the opening bracket there. There we go. And the close bracket. And now we can pull up the sample utterances. Select all of these. Put our utterances in here for Hello World. We'll go ahead and click Next. And that will start processing those. You'll see that might take a little bit of time to process those interaction models. The next part is around the SSL uh, certificates. Now, if you use the default mybluemix.net within Bluemix, that has a wildcard certificate. So you need to choose the option here that says uh, my development endpoint is a subdomain of a domain that has a wildcard certificate. So we can go ahead and click the save. We've got check marks all along here. So at this point, we should be ready to go. Let's go back to our node red and our debug window so we can see things come up. Alexa, ask Jason's Bluemix to say hello. Hello, world. There we go. Works just like that. And what you can see over here is the debug that comes out of that. It actually looks in the opposite order. The bottom one here is the input message, as you can see by which debug node is highlighted. And you can see in there, type intent request in the intent name of hello world intent. And then on the response that we sent out, we sent out text hello world. So that's basically all there is to it. Now you can fill in the rest of these. In fact, let's do one just a really quick here. So let's handle the launch request. That's when you um, 
launch a service, but you don't put a particular intent in there. So in that case, uh, we want to um, handle launch, and we'll say, welcome to Jason's Blue Mix. You can ask me to say hello. Say OK on that. We'll connect that up to the launch intent, launch request that was in the first node of that. And then we'll take that output and put it back through that same format response. We'll deploy it. And now if we ask Alexa, Alexa, launch Jason's Blue Mix. Welcome to Jason's Blue Mix. You can ask me to say hello. It's as simple as that. So there you go, you've got an entire framework of an application here that you can use to build all kinds of cool and exciting Echo apps. Use all of the other nodes here in Node Red. You can uh, add in maybe a, a Twitter capability, uh, IoT capability to talk with your devices. Even uh, IBM Watson could be tied in here now that you've got this framework to start with. Thanks for watching.